you're going to need a drill, drill bits, and a metal filer. All right, so we're gonna remove these three screws that take off the USB front panel. We're gonna remove these two screws over here on the right, which remove the audio jack and headphones. Once you get those removed, you can take these out. And after that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the drill and drill through three holes in the black rivets that used to be right here. All right, I have a, a little drill here to hold what used to be there. All right, as you can see, you're gonna drill right through this. All right, it's gonna go through then there's one in here as well, and then there's a third one also, okay? So just to go over that again, there's one, two, three, all right? So you're gonna use the drill bit to go through directly, okay? Once you're done with that, there's gonna be a pair of screws on each end, okay? So top, then the side, okay? So there's one on each, there's a pair on each end, so a pair up here, a pair here, a pair down here, and then a pair over here. So when you remove those, all right, now you'll be able to flip the front panel around, okay? So you can just take this out. As you can see earlier, those three rivets used to line with this uh, PSU motherboard uh, backing, okay? So afterwards, all you can, all you're gonna do, is flip this over, and you can realign all your screws. But as you can see, this part, this metal, this where it, where it used to be, it does not fit flush. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is grab a metal filer and file it down here. Okay, and as you can see, I already started some of it here. Okay, let me show you guys the inside of this. As you can see, this is now the inside with it flipped. Okay, as you can see, you're gonna to wanna to file this so it can fit in between there. Then you can just realign all your screws. I made little marks with the Sharpie to see where I had to file down some more. I'm pretty close to finishing up the filing. Need to probably file for a little bit longer and just get that rounded edge. So as you can see, this sits pretty flush in right here where I marked it earlier with the Sharpie. As you can see, I had to file the inside bracket down essentially right here. So I have to file along the edges of the inside bracket only. And I've added my own three rivets Okay, so I've been able to just drill my own mounting screw holes here for these guys. These three are my own made, which used to correlate to these three over here that got drilled out that used to line up with this. So now those three can line up here for extra support. So you gotta take these little black clips and make sure you put them back in their, I guess, inverted, where they would be in their reverse orientation or inverted orientation. I'm going to grab the other one from the other side. I'll grab the other one too. So there's four of them. You got to bring them to the top, the side panels. And
All right, so I found an issue. This doesn't close as flush as I thought because these three screws that I made, this bottom one, this bottom one down here does not sit flush next to this part right here. It'll keep colliding into it. So whenever I try to clip this on, because I don't have flush nuts here, I guess, as you can see, there's a gap, right? Or there's a gap that gets created here. However, the other two are fine because there's like cutouts right here that will fit. So what I'm going to do is just remove this bottom one. Top hat. one side as you can see now this PSU shroud used to be over here so yeah as you can see you can still invert it all now your PSU is on the bottom instead of the top where it used to be I think now you should be able to mount an AO up there So to prepare the top mesh for the fans for the AI out, what you're gonna have to do is just take it off. And as you can see, there's these little tabs. Originally they were hooked in, right? There's these little metal tabs that you can slowly hook back out. It used to sit on top of there and you can remove that filter off, right? You see these little tabs that come up. So just be careful with these as this is metal, so you try not to snap them. Once that is taken off, then you're gonna start removing these little rubber knobs that go for those sickle flow fans, I believe, or the cooler master fans that come with it. So you're gonna to wanna to remove these to prepare your, these for the radiator screws that you have. Now with all the components put back into place, you can top mount the AIO. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.